Listen. Hi guys, it's Victoria. Welcome or welcome back. Let's jump into your reading today. It's gonna be super quick. It's gonna be lickety split. Why hear it lickety split in my head? What the book? <laughs> okay, super fast. Holy Spirit, please connect me to the collective here. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the collective watching this reading for those who need to hear this message. What do they need to hear? What do they need to know for their highest good and their highest light? Just cast out any negative energies, any malicious and malignant spirits, energies, entities, any spirit or energy that the collective here does not permit in their reading. Please cast it out. All right, let's see. Lion control. Ooh, okay. Wait. So it says, so someone here could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. I mean, it makes me think, I mean, it also makes me think of like bravery, courage. You could have red hair. Someone here could have red hair. I'm thinking of Merida in my head now. Um, you could be an older sister here or an older sibling. It doesn't have to be a sister, but you could be like an older sibling, or maybe you're like one of three brothers. I'm thinking of the kids now in that movie. Uh, but strength. I know it says control, but I'm thinking of strength right now. A hawk just flew over. Okay. Thank you. It says, if you have moderate aggressive impulses, this is an invitation to control your temper. You are encouraged to explore how to express your needs or thoughts more openly and constructively to reduce your level of frustration. Okay, so maybe you guys have been working on some anger issues or just like some problems with controlling situations or holding on to situations or getting frustrated at little things or getting mad at situations that are out of your control or things that are out of your control here. Um, maybe you're learning how to like release or like let go of certain things and not have like such a tight grip on things <clears throat> or a situation or a person. I'm getting, literally, like, I'm getting someone, I don't know, maybe someone here went to anger management, but I'm getting someone, like, doing a countdown in their head, like, just, deep breath, count down before I beat this bitch's ass, like, I'm, who are you guys fighting, what the hell? Maybe you guys used to get in physical alt altercations before, or there's been something in the past, or maybe there's something going on right now where you, there's someone in your life where you are just, like, why am I seeing that Demi Lovato clip where she's like, or they're like, I forgot their pronouns. Anyway, but they're like, I'm about to beat this bitch's ass. Someone here is like, <laughs> who's trying to fight right now? What is going on? Who are you guys fighting? Or maybe someone like really wants to fucking, I don't know what is going on is there like a fight going on is there i'm hearing girl fight in my head so there might be two women arguing or fighting right now or there's some type of like bickering there's some type there literally could have been a physical altercation maybe this is between siblings because now i'm seeing the freaking um oh my god the that scene it was all over tiktok where the kardashian sisters fighting is giving me that but it's like that's not a with their situation, I don't know. Feels more like might be some toxicity. This says unlimited. I create my reality with the thoughts I think and the things I focus on. I am unlimited in my ability to create a beautiful live a beautiful life full of good and love. Okay, so you guys are absolutely um I don't know if this is detaching or you are No, that's not it. This is more... Because I feel like you're still around this person or around these people. But it's like you're learning how to control it inwardly. You're learning how to get a rein on your own emotions. You're learning how to... It's almost like you're... There's something here with the ego. You're you're working with your ego right now and that's not it i don't feel like this is negative i feel like it's like you're discovering some new things you're kind of like tweaking certain things you're 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 finding out what's working for you right and this this does give off like a very strong energy i mean you're, you're kind of like coming into a position that maybe you haven't been in before or 
maybe this is like if you were growing up and you had a sibling that was like super vindictive towards you or there was a lot of like competition or a lot of rival like rivalry competition same thing a lot of um like lies or it's something here there might be a very bitter sibling around you it doesn't have to be if that doesn't resonate i just feel like there might be an energy or a person around you that is in almost like a comparative energy with you but the thing is is like they were before getting under your skin like i'm i'm feeling it's like i'm gonna beat this person's ass right now like if you say one more fucking thing to me like this is the energy i'm feeling oh lord hummingbird hey maybe you guys have like been seeing hummingbirds i don't know but it says it is time for you to pursue your dreams with determination by doing this you will make them a reality joy is just around the corner but you have to believe that it's possible to manifest your vision stop waiting and doubting okay so you guys are like taking action towards something right now and i think it's like you're in the energy of like i am not letting you ruin this for me i'm not letting you get me off course with this i'm not letting you take over the situation i'm not letting you or maybe you're even telling yourself like i am not going to let myself um sabotage this i'm not going to let myself like but it's not just saying it, it's actually like you're actually doing the work here. It's like you're actually learning how to, like you're learning your emotions, you're learning how to control your temper, your, um, you the way you see something, because it does say hummingbird lightness, and I'm seeing unlimited, <sighs> reduce your level of frustration. Like, I really do feel like someone here is, it's almost like you're studying yourself. It's weird. Cause it's like even in the emotions you're able to kind of like take yourself out of it i don't know how to explain this because it's so weird it's like you could be feeling your emotions but you might at some point recognize you're like okay you take yourself out and then it's like i'm getting like a like a magnet what is it um what the fuck is that a spyglass magnetine glass i don't know like you have something where it's like you're looking at something closer oh as maybe someone yeah, I mean, this has to be family. I had a family member just text me right now. <sighs> Maybe this is an older sibling. You Wait, are you the oldest or are you the youngest? If you're the youngest, you might resonate more with like older sibling responsibility i don't know they're like you were the one because you know how in some situations it's usually like the younger child is like the baby or the golden child to me if, if you don't resonate with that it's like this is almost like reversed this is like the older child was like it's almost like there's an older sibling here that was a favorite or there was a favorite there, there was favoritism okay there was favoritism going on in some type of like family dynamic that's very specific so i mean that's not gonna be for everyone but that, i mean for majority i do feel that like man i don't know what else i'm picking up from this it really just feels kind of like family there's really like this like rivalry competitive type of energy to this let me get one more hold on why am i hearing every kiss begins with, begins with k huh did someone just get engaged i mean is there a sibling that's like upset that you got engaged is there like a try a trying to redirect focus to them while you're celebrating something maybe i'm just seeing an engagement ring because it's symbolizing like some type of milestone in your life i don't know if this is like someone in your family who tries or tried to shift the focus or like shift the attention back to them <clears throat> Whoa. water my dreams all i desire is on its way to me but like a seed my dreams too must be watered my belief and determination is what makes them grow i will be patient throughout this journey and it is un unfolding at the perfect time so someone here is definitely upset with the way that you have been able to i'm feeling like you guys really like broke through something so i don't know if this is like you Maybe you're like the first uh, person in your family to graduate college or maybe you're the first person to 
be in a top you know high paying position or getting six figures i don't know something like that it's like you it's there's something here where you have a certain accolade or a certain prominence or a certain education or so there's something here where that is really triggering someone's insecurity and it's it's almost like they're wanting to shift the focus and they're really upset that there is this like you have an ability here to step out of I, I really don't know I'm trying I'm I'm so sorry I'm trying so hard to like articulate what it is that I'm feeling because it's like I'm feeling like someone stepping past something or like stepping through something but it's not bad like there's no hesitation there's no fear like I really feel like you're someone that is likes to dissect like your emotions or something or you're you're very like detailed or like you know like you have confidence here there one 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 um, you have confidence here and like it's almost like you know that you're going to achieve your goals your dreams literally water my dreams and you're doing the work you're watering your dreams i saw 11 11 again okay so 101 11 11 could be significant my belief and determination is what makes them grow your belief and determination your faith your belief your tenacity your determination your ability to keep going despite certain circumstances around you there's something here where it's like you were able to fucking push through and going back to the lion with the strength like you're literally able to push through something and come on top i mean the lion is the top of the food chain right in the jungle here so it's like you have somehow been able to um work your way build yourself up to something here where you feel proud of yourself or you feel you have reached some type of accomplishment or milestone that you're proud of and i don't know if this has already happened or this might be like spirit letting you know just to look out for if you know that there is a person in your life that has this type of behavior or pattern where they really like do not like to celebrate your successes or you feel like they would sabotage it in some way or again if this is you and you know that you have a tendency to like sabotage certain things or even if you refuse to celebrate yourself it's like spirit wants you to celebrate yourself you know because i feel like you have done a lot you really um i was gonna say progress which yes that i feel that but that's not the word i was gonna use what's the word i don't know know i'm just like you guys have worked really fucking hard like this is a lot like it, it, it's it's also like spirit is very proud of the fact that you have so your angels your ancestors your spirit guides here they're so proud of the fact that you have actually like been able to push through this and you've had to i think it's like you also comforting yourself in some way maybe there has been work like i mean it says healing right there has been things that you've been um doing to reduce your level of frustration control your your temper understand certain emotions here so it's like i think you're giving yourself more grace you're giving yourself a lot more compassion yeah you just love yourself you just really love yourself you love yourself as a person and that might be what's triggering this person because you know that you are like you know what you're manifesting you know your power here you know um the type of person you are you know your heart you know your character and it's like this person may have tried to disparage your character before they might you know they might try to have you react and like outside of your character you know what i mean but yeah that is what i have for you guys <laughs> communication more family energy i'm telling you and you're very good at communication you it says communicating clearly from the heart it says bridge any gaps that are keeping you from connecting deeper with your loved ones it's important to speak your truth with emotion vulnerability and power so bottom of the deck to close this reading out um i think spirit is letting you know if there are certain things that you haven't put your foot down or there are certain boundaries that you haven't really set i think spirit wants you to set those those boundaries and not also not feel bad for certain vulnerability right certain emotions that you share so if this is like someone that you express your emotions to them and they really like just it's completely one ear and out the other it's like don't get in a feeling afterwards where it's like why did i even say that why did i even tell them that no like you're speaking your truth 
your <laughs> boundaries. You're speaking your truth. Um, your space is sacred. And guests who overstay their welcome impact your aura. This is not just talking about a home, like guests staying in your home. This is also people around you in your energy field, right? Like people who you allow to be around you. What are you allowing people to say to you? What are you allowing people to like get away with saying about you? You know what I mean? And not in a sense where it's like not going back to the beginning where you're like, I'm about to beat this bitch. Like, no, 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 no. I think now you fight with words. Like you're, you maybe you used to fight back in the day, um, but now you fight with words here. It's like you have you really have developed a strong communication. Like maybe before you just were a closed book um, and it was just really hard to be vulnerable and it was really hard to just express yourself, but you've been doing the work. And here it's like, now you're, you're, really, you're really good at communicating here. And um, Spirit is letting you know, as you keep nurturing your soul, it says nurture your soul with the same gentle love and support your offer to others. It's like not be, again, not coming in it from an aggressive angle, not coming in it from a, I mean, obviously if there's a need for self-defense, we're not going to get like into the details or semantics of that, but like, you know what I mean? Let it go. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Sorry, I'm a little bit medicated, <laughs> but... I know how it says bridge any gaps. I think this is talking more about when we're talking about boundaries. Like, don't. I don't like saying things like, don't do this, don't do that. But I feel like spirit is just letting you know, don't be afraid to set those boundaries, especially if it's with like people that you love or people that you have really difficult or complicated relationships with. You know what I mean? Like, maybe this is, like, someone that you don't really get along with, but you have to keep the peace, or you feel like you have to keep the peace because, you know, like, maybe if we're talking about siblings, like, maybe the mom, your mom or your dad wants you guys to, like, get along, and it's, like, I'm, yeah, I'm seeing, like, the two kids in the t-shirt, the like, the shared t-shirt. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that meme where it's, like, this is our, this is our fighting shirt or something like that. It's, like, really trying to, to bring the family back to an image that never actually existed right it's like there's always been issues here but someone might be blind to that or might be trying to mold a certain how they want it to be right so if this is like your mom it's like they want you guys to get along they want you guys to they want the family to be just like it was but it's like even uh, there's like this lack of understanding though because it's like it never was how they pictured it you know what i mean so yeah i think just keep staying open-minded keep doing you keep nurturing your spirit uh stay focused on your goals here i don't think that's an issue for you guys um and yeah don't let anyone rain on your parade especially if you're celebrating yourself and an accomplishment you know and you know vice versa if it doesn't resonate with you and you feel like you've done that to people before like and you're reflecting or whatever and you're like okay i need to reevaluate refocus um work through that <laughs> but yeah that's what i have for you guys i hope this reading resonated i hope it was helpful i hope it was entertaining this is for entertainment purposes oh my gosh the kittens are getting crazy but yeah i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day your evening wherever you're at stay healthy hydrated and blessed and i will see you guys next time and i hope you treat it as you treat others Bye.